Here's how you make an easy super smelter. By the way, this is my design. So, guys, for real, this I designed this farm. So here's how it works. Let I'll, I'll give you the tutorial, but let's see how fast it takes to cook a stack of items. So first, what you want to do is go in, in the middle of the super smelter. You can use you can place blocks and ladders. That's also an easy way, but but you place blocks and ladder ladders if you're in survival mode. Now go check the furnaces. The top it, one is the input. So add any item you want to smell. This one is the feel. So add all your feel. And now let's ha let me show you how to turn it on. So add some rails. Give it a little push. There we go. Now it's on. Add some more rails. Now what you want to do is push two hopper mine carts. As you can see, it works. Now all, all the furnaces are turning on. They're gonna get smelting iron. Now as you can see, we already have two cooked. As you can see, this farm is working very fast. Almost done. This farm is fast. But you guys are lucky that I am the one who designed this farm because I am going to show you how to build it. Let's get into the tutorial, shall we? Boo! Whenever you want to stop the farm, all you gotta do is flick this piston and flick in them again. As you can see, this will stop the contraption. Make sure to remove the rails. You can pick them up and start the chamber again. One, one, two. Now connect the line of hoppers. The line of hoppers can as be, be as long as you want. Once you have the hopper line as long as you want, connect another line of hoppers as long as you want. Make sure the nozzle of this hopper is leading into this hopper. Now connect a line of hoppers leading into this hopper. What? Huh? I swear I didn't make this a square. How is this a perfect square? But back to placing hoppers. As you can see, that square should look like this. If you guys are in early games and don't have an iron farm, you guys can make the square a little bit smaller. And I'll place furnaces on top. Make sure to skip the corners like this. As you can see, don't place furnaces on the corners. Now, as you can see, this square pattern should look like this. Now, what you want to do is place a layer of hoppers on top. Make sure that all, all the nozzle of these hoppers are facing into the furnace. This farm should look like this. 
Now what you want to do is add temporary blocks right here, like this. Do this for every corner. Now it should look like this. Now what you want to do is add power rails on top. But first, make sure to add all of normal rails on the corner. Now that you've added normal rails on the corner, you can add powered rails on top. Now that you've placed all your normal rails on top, the top and also the powered rails it should look like this now go right here find the middle now break these blocks don't break the hoppers now that we can place a block right here and a redstone block right here we can place a block right here and a block right here you can use any temporary blocks by the way, the reason why we break three blocks like this and place temporary blocks like this is because if you don't know, if you don't know, so basically, if you add it redstone, as you can see, the item won't move. But however, if you don't add redstone, then the item will move. This is exactly why we use red uh, temporary blocks here, so that way, the farm would still work correctly. Now go over here. Now do the same process again. Now as you can see, this farm should look like this. Now do this on every single side. By the way, if you stretch this super smelter like hundreds and hundreds of blocks long, then you might need multiple of these. But however, if you decided to make it like mine, then you need less. Or if you make it smaller, then you might need less redstone, depending on how big you built this. this and I'll go in the middle over here and I'll break this block now disable this furnace now break this hopper now what you want to do is add a sticky piston if you feel like it add another sticky piston remove the sticky piston add a block now add a lever right here so this will allow you to turn it off the farm. Depending on where you make this, make sure to remove this. Now what you want to do is fill this in with solid blocks. Now you can add back your powered rails. This will make sure that the that it, the hoppers does don't collect the powered rails. This will clog up the system. You can replace back this, and now this farm should look like this. Go to one side. Now remove this. Remove two hoppers. Break these blocks. Crouch down. And add two temporary blocks. Do this to every side. Now take your hoppers. Place two blocks out from each direction. Now 
Ooh, this farm shit look like this. No, anything like this. That has like, this little gap thingy. You can add redstone. Anything that has this gap thingy. You can add redstone. This will make sure that it's powered. So if you have... So that way the rails are gonna be powered. As you can see that every single redstone block is placed. Now to every turn make sure to add a rail. And now what you want to do is add powered rails on top of it. I'll do the exact same thing right here. Disable this. Add a sticky piston and a temporary block. Place a lever. Now as you can see, you can disable this. Now I am gonna show you how to use this farm. So to use it, place a minecart over here. Place a minecart over here as well. It could be any item you wanna smell. Now the fuel is right here. It's gonna automatically fuel it up. Now push it. Push this one as well. Not working. So make sure that every rail is placed. And as you can see, the furnaces are turning on right now. The resorts should go in this chest. I cooked over 20 gold. Is, it is very quick. As you can see, I literally just smelted a stack in less than a minute. 